one is too many for any for a child for for anybody that, that anybody that goes into an establishment that you expect just basic human rights we're not expecting dinner on a gold plate we ended up moving her into a we ended up moving her into a nursing home in and it's still a regret to this day that I, I didn't do anything more. And it suggests that one in six care homes are risking closure because they're pushed to the brink. So CQE feel, although homes desperately need this ecosystem in place, they'll be, it'll be even less viable if they're taking on extra expenses because they're already pushed to the brink. So we have an answer for that which is pretty radical, but it means that they'd be able to immediately get the ecosystem for free and run the service, install it and run it essentially for free. The process could be triggered by residents' family members contributing as little as just £1.89 per week, and they, that goes to the home that they nominate, or even the family. first step to a solution, as you say. Sounds amazing. Um, it, any, any, anyone who has a loved one, in a care environment simply wants to have reassurance that the care they're receiving is the best care they could be receiving and is being imparted in a professional and dare I say loving way and respectful way. The abuse that is taking place in the care sector is probably being undertaken by a vast minority of carers. So if, if CQE is, is able to provide analytics and an early warning of the behaviour of these minority and to weed out these minority, then I imagine that the impact on these statistics would be phenomenal. So I think that two other impacts that this might have is, first of all, increasing the well-being, the motivation of the wider team of carers, which can only then downstream provide even better care to those individuals that require it, and can free up management to think more about how, what positive interventions that they can make in their immediate ecosystem rather than firefighting the few cases. Yeah, I honestly, Dan, Rachel, thank you so, so much for your eloquence and your honesty and just sharing with us today. It's, it's been a real, real pleasure and privilege and thank you so much.